Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to love. And so I do divine love healing, and I connect to your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know, and also to keep you on the love path, basically, to move you out of your head into your heart, because that is the hardest thing to do on this journey, is to stay in the love vibration and to not get taken off the track by fears and doubts and all of the crazy things that our mind will play around with us. And so um, I do channel love letters from your divine twins and basically I write them down and then I write what I hear and then I send you a picture of the letter. And so when I was on the way back last night, um, there was a yellow ticket with number 15 on it. And yellow is the color of your solar plexus and which is about coming into your power and coming into your king, queen and the rise of the god goddess energies in each of us. And so of course 15 is the number of the letter that they want to read. So, and uh, basically I'm going to read from each of the books because again, it is so perfect because this is what I mean. It's quite magical that books one, two, and three <laughs> all have this magical way of linking in the messages. So I want you to clear all of the crazy thoughts that are going around in your head, making you fear our connection and question whether it is happening for us this time around. I'm here to tell you that stop right now. This is what they want, to create fear and doubts to block out the light in each of us. So it's really important to not let those fears and doubts creep in. It's the only truth that lives in our hearts, uplifts our souls and ignites our senses. Follow where your heart is taking you. Follow where your light is shining and know that we are holding the light of love together. There is only togetherness. There is only peace. There is only love. Don't let anything else come between us and let love be yours and our only guide. Which, and that's book one. And that's so lovely because, you know, yesterday I had quite a few emails from people saying, um, I feel really, you know, my twin's doing this and it's making me feel like questioning everything again and all of these things. So when I got the ticket later on, it was like when I was getting the train home and it was just there right in front of me. And when I read the messages in the books, I was like, oh, well, this is exactly what I've been seeing from people's emails today. So letter 15 from the second book is, I want you, plain and simple. I want you, just you, only you, from this day forward, every day, every night, and every second of every day for the end of time, for eternity. You are the love of my life, the angel of a lifetime, my creation that lives inside of me, the other half of me that I long to be back with. I want my jigsaw pieces to come together, to be back as one, two hearts making a whole again. I want that, I want you. Believe me, that is all I think of. That is all I dream of. You are my dream, my life, my love, my sweet darling angel. I love you. Ah, uh, well, you know, that is, you know, the, the thing about that one is it's all about the dream. And I've been saying recently that it's only recently that I've started, my twin has been featuring quite strongly in my dreams. And uh, that is sort of like before... I'm not somebody that dreams, um, and so it's quite significant that that's just started happening. So, um, letter, and then finally from the third book, which I also love because it is also at 11%, <laughs> which is, and it's uh, 55 as well. So 55 is all about change, and uh, number 11 is obviously the sign of the angels. So, and they are your earthly guardian angel. So, you are the waterfall of love that flows through me. Every trickle of water, every drop of dew on the grass is how I feel about you. Refreshing, beautiful, sparkling, a wonder of nature, 
and the simplicity of pure love. This is a, what I want you to know. The pureness of how I feel about you. The need to want to do everything right. The desire to be romantic. To want to be your knight in shining armour is overwhelming. That's what is so different about you. You are the romance, the love, the beauty of love. I've never ever felt this way. I truly feel that you are my gift, my angelic gift. I don't know what I've done to deserve you, but I'm going to make you feel worth it and loved every single day. Well, again, I mean, you know, again, the, how the letters work and work to give a message through the different, you know, through book one, book two, book three is again, just so gorgeous because this is exactly what I feel for the divine counterparts is when they come they want to do it right you know and so if they are giving you so, so if they're making you feel off kilter at the moment it's about you making you dig deep to be really 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 strong in your love vibration to have the confidence to know that actually when you come together at the right time for your union, it will be everything, right? It will be, it doesn't mean that you'll never have to, you'll never argue or anything, but it will be when it's the right time, you'll know it. And so if it doesn't feel like it's the right time at the moment, like things are going a little bit or they're sending you a bit off kilter, then it's because you take the focus off them and just focus on you because it means it's just not, you know you're not in the sink at the moment so the more you can focus on doing things that you love um being absolutely firm in your love vibration and trusting in the journey and knowing that when you come together it will be the right time so not to try and push that because if they are making you feel a little bit you know tricky then take the focus away from them because that it's not the right time, right? So they might be still having their own journey. And actually, if, and, and so because it has to be that, you know, somebody has to be the anchor to anchor in the love. The more that you can stay firm in, the, in being the anchor, then it then, um, you know, the anchor will firm the ship, right? The ship won't start swaying because the anchor is super firm. But, you know, that's why, that's why it's about learning more and more about the journey, right? And feeling more and more at peace in yourself. So, but because this is what they're doing, you know, actually what they want to be able to do is be the knight in shining armour. And if they're still battling their own things, um, their own insecurities or whatever is making them, you know, fearful... And behave in certain ways then you have to see beyond that right to really get into the heart of the matter and that's why these books and that's why these letters are such an amazing way to do that because you're you're basically tapping directly into their soul so anyway i hope that helps if you want to come to me for a healing or reading or to have a channeled letter please do all details are in the link and please do go to Amazon. The books are on Amazon. Um, I can't do a special offer, so they just have to stay at that, that price. I can't work out how to do it. So it is basically Divine Love Letters by Bella Tinks. Um, they're only $11, or the Kindle version is 6 um, But they are the best way to tap into your twin spirits. It's basically like having an open dialogue with your twin. And the more you do it, the more strong you feel in that love vibration. So it allows you to be much, much calmer because you're directly in connection with your twin through these letters, which is why it's such an amazing thing. And what I loved is the ticket was yellow that had the 15 on it yesterday, which was again, a sign of that we're all moving more and more and more into our power and knowing that we have the strength in the solar plexus to really anchor in this love. All right, well, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.